Sir. Gonna be Justin. Set up. Turbo's unchallenged. He couldn't get it onto target. It's gonna be Turbo. He's not gonna miss that though. Two minutes it took, but it's been all NRG in game one. Cheeky finish by Turbo. He just looked up and saw, oh, wait a minute, the ball's coming right at me. I know what to do. Just a little, and, you know, you a bit lucky for Sonics not to just concede directly, as they will here. Kickoff goal for NRG. They are ahead by two now. Yeah, just keep an eye on where Dapper goes as well. He picks up the boost and immediately starts darting. He's just one player down the line, one player down the middle. Where do you really want the ball to go in that spot? Nobody's sitting back. There's a nice little by shock. In fact, that's going to be the first goal for Sonics. Easy as you like. Right down the middle. NRG with no defense to speak of. Yeah, Shock just got one of those surprising extra touches that takes it higher than you ever expected. There's going to be Sapu off the backboard. Dapper's too far forward, however. And it's going to go past him into the net for NRG. Huge opportunity for Sonics. They got too antsy and they got themselves caught out. And that's three open nets for Turbo. What a steal, Garrett. <laughs> Not able to turn this one over. Is Turbo easily there first? He had a bit of a tough week last week. So getting himself three goals, he'll claim this a confidence booster. And in general, NRG's confidence has got to be riding high. They are dominating game one. Wow, is this another wide open net? No one in goal. Dapper is gar guarding the near post by looks of things. Give him a little bit of breathing room. So here's Garrett off the ball. Picks up some boost on his way through. Unchallenged for the longest time. Back into the middle. And Turbo will grab his fourth. And it's a non-open net for Turbo Pulsa. He does know how to score past goalkeepers. In fact, three of them in this case. Top corner shot for Turbo. Over committing all that often. He will miss the ball. Have a demo as well. That leaves only one player left. Oh. And unfortunately, he is going to get wiped off the goal line off this monster bump. That is outrageous. I mean, I said that bumps and demos might be a good strategy. Garrett does win the ball. He's on zero boost this time, and Dapper will win the challenge. Only as far as Justin. A minute left on the clock. Justin for the double! And he's <laughs> rocking and rolling in game two. Well, it looked like Justin accidentally side flipped after popping this ball up, but he's so fast to recover anyway that it doesn't matter. Still gets it. This tournament, Sonics have allowed more shots on goal than any other team. And against NRG, it is proving to be their detriment. There's number four. NRG simply cannot stop scoring in this series. This is just too good for NRG now. And other teams are yet to play today. I feel Dapper's on 100. He tries to go for the shock. Go straight for the net. Can't find a target though. And a demo is going to mean that Safi's the only one back. And he can't reach it. Wow. Thunder a shot from Garrett. And that is a punish. Not on NRG overextending, but on Sonic's overextending. But look at that. Safi. Difficult to create. You need to challenge him. Justin now one on one. Against Shock. Looks for the set. Doesn't need one. Lightning quick shot finds the top corner. Oh my goodness. That is disgusting for Justin to keep that much power on the shot. I think he expected there to be a challenge coming in faster. He made it quite difficult on himself, but he's done it again. This time on the half volley, Justin makes it 3 0. NRG are destroying the Sonics. And right now, it's looking like a foregone conclusion player to cover each and every one. And it's going to be bouncing straight to the middle and Garrett G free jumped. Unable to reach it and Justin prevents the follow-up shot but not stop Dapper from getting one back. And finally the Sonics get a relevant goal. This is been a long time coming. A bit of a miss hit there from Justin. Couldn't get that into the corner. Play a more aggressive game and maybe they'll see, okay, actually that works pretty well against energy. That looks a lot better for us. Let's try that again next time we play. But, you know, What's likely to happen is what we're seeing right here. It's just going to be more NRG. They're playing so well right now. They're running off the ball brilliantly. 1-0 already. How well is Justin striking the ball today? Besides the other problems that they're currently facing. One of those problems has been right oh, wow. here. It's Justin, as it always is, just outpacing everybody. And, you know, I think Justin meant this. I really do give him full credit for that goal. 
I think this series so far, Johnny, has shown why it's so crucial to have a good start to a series. That's top corner. Justin is up to a hat trick. But I think like this goal almost proves my point even more. The first game, a bunch of sloppy goals, but it was still a lot of space being given over to NRG. I'm still half expecting him heading into the semifinals to turn up with a, you know, in a slump Justin sort of name. And that will tell me more than anything else is the lifeline has been thrown over to Sonic. So they're going to capitalize very quickly, though. Yeah, it's amazing, humble, and uh, also self deprecating Justin can be sometimes. Oh, a pinch off the wall on the pass! Oh, what a pass from Atomic to Illusion! Ghost Strike first! Look at this! Illusion even back past that over to Atomic. We grab some boost to get back into the play. Ghost right now. Oh, oh it's a loose ball, and that's in! Ghost, that's two goals, Cloud9. Not how you want to start. So Gimmick had gone up for this challenge and Mist just pokes it around him and Torment while flipping back, flips into the ball. So that was... And a good transition, but off the post, no third goal for them. They might not need it. Oh, oh they somehow might Somehow Squishy it. muscled this one by. Not and this sure was brilliant from Squishy. It really was. He just goes in, pops it, and then goes for the bump on Illusion. He actually got that bump. That was a beautiful play. And the only goal that we saw from Cloud9 was that squishy solo play. Oh, Illusion! Ho, 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 ho! Starts off with a bang! Look at this setup from it. Beautiful timing. You saw as soon as Illusion popped that ball. Would not surprise me if they somehow found a way to take this set. It's a long set. It's a best of seven. And another double tap. This time by Squishy to tie the game. Squishy says, okay, I see your double tap. I can do one. Boom, right over Miss. Miss, you saw him jumping up, trying to get Cloud9 locked in their own territory. Up again, up high. That's a good first touch back to Atomic. The shot is good and Ghost have a lead. And it was only a matter of time. Cloud9 was being starved out of boost. Gimmick had five, Squishy had 12. Torment got boost, but he was all the way back in the corner. But Atomic's there for the challenge. And now missed on the air dribble. And Cloud9, they're forced to wait because, oh, and it just goes under him. Mist just pops it over the team, and it's insurance late for Ghosts. Ooh. You can see there, oh. perhaps they thought he was going to go for a flip reset shot, but no, Mist, they're pulling off the most mechanical shot. Oh, he almost got that double touch, but Illusion will punch it in. You know, uh, Fortune favors the bolt here, and Ghost, it's a giant, uh, what do you call it? I don't know. It's just a beating, James. It's it a is beating a beatdown. In the series, and they made Cloud9 look like Sonics did against NRG in game two. Let's we'll see if they can figure it out. Atomic on the flip reset. He'll pick up the first goal. Ghost, keep rolling. And this is why they expected Mist to hit his flip reset. Everyone on Ghost has the ability of perfectly timed air roll that allows him a beautiful shot. Atomic stopping the Cloud9 transition. Torment high ball for Squishy, and it'll be a tie game. Devil on the back side doesn't matter. Cloud9 keep themselves in it. And Squishy's been scoring everything for Cloud9. Another good pass. Squishy gets up high. And the demo from Gimmick, that was a... Doesn't matter, Torment's having to flip just to make a touch, and he loses the challenge anyway. Here's Atomic, oh, it's gets under me. Does he get back to it? Atomic is insane! Atomic, he destroys Squishy's mind. He gets the flip oh. reset that and sick. the dunk. That was one of the most, how do you Nothing. defend that? You can't. Right now, well, okay. They'll pick that up. They, they win a challenge cleaner, Squishy does, and he continues to be the only player on Cloud9 to be able to score anything. This is this is a, a Squishy versus Atomic shootout. How Squishy's been scoring everything all game. Oh. And that time, Torment getting denied. Squishy with a hat trick. 
make no mistake, this is all set up by Torment's initial touch here. Atomic makes a great save, but it bounces straight out into Squishy, and he puts it in again. Squishy, Illusion Ball, he couldn't find the touch. That's dangerous for Ghost. Here's Gimmick on the turnaround. Flips it once, does he have it in front, and Illusion somehow gets back to make the save. Does it matter? No, Torment scores, and it's insurance for Cloud9. And this, you know, the net was open if Gimmick waits a little bit longer, gets a little more power on the shot, he might have been able to just score it himself, but he wasn't. Ghost hanging on on defense. Because here comes Squishy again off the corner. Pass to Gimmick. Goal! Gimmick scores! Cloud9 with the lead! And this all dates back to right there. Illusion touches the ball when Atomic was going for the clear. Atomic could have had the clear easily, but Illusion... Torment has the save. Miss. Trying to keep it close around the corner. Another chance for Atomic. He actually gets it by Gimmick. Atomic the Gunslinger! Strikes for Ghost! He is so fast. Look at how he quickly he gets up. Gimmick started halfway up the wall. And Atomic still gets up in time and beats him out. Trying to stop it. Oh, what a demo. Oh. It met wide open. Atomic high. Can he have it? No, it bounces straight down. Illusion shot. Good! Ghost one series. <laughs> one game left. What an overtime. And that was close. It hit off the crossbar. And Atomic couldn't read it, fortunately for him. Trying to take out that very Cloud9 team here in five games. And it starts with a goal from Atomic. It just does not stop for this man. It is Atomic going nuclear. And it was a wonderful challenge from Illusion. You saw him positioning for that 50-50. And line up his shot. It's going to be almost impossible to block. Now we see an overcommit, wide open net, and an easy goal for Ghost. 20 seconds in, a two-goal lead. That is not the start you want if you're Cloud9. Torment and Gimmick double committed on the play. Way high up in the third. And Torment get a demo, and he was getting the corner boost steal. We see Mist low on boost. Atomic's trying to air dribble to buy time, but he just takes <laughs> it all. Unreal Atomic with an air dribble, full field. Air dribble, James? That's an air strike. Target locked, <laughs> squishy on one side, but Atomic is winning this duel. There's another, and another one. There's another, a it's a hat. Oh. oh my goodness. Another kickoff goal for Atomic. Torment in net, Atomic gets around the ball, blasts it by him. And I think like one of the best players that North America has to offer in this series. You know, oh my last... goodness. Frames Jorby, this James. was sick. It was sick. Go for it. Look at the wave dash. He wave dashes to the side to kick the ball up the wall. And then... And we'll see if Cloud9 has what it takes. It certainly is a step in the right direction for Cloud9, but in different areas, in each it's like one game, it's just they can't control the boots. This game, it's a couple, it's Atomic, just popping off. Atomic, that is five goals for Atomic. He's five for eight. Illusion has a playmaker, and you can't, you can't do anything. This has a savior. This Ghost team are unbeatable in this series. He is going to have fun rewatching this one. It will certainly be fun and ghost fans everywhere are leaning back hands behind their back atomic the double hattie it, it's hats it stacks of hats james for atomic and you know what else it is Jorby. seven to one that's, that's and shock's been a name that we've heard and mentioned quite a bit throughout the season but dapper has been right there with them then Two on offense have been so strong. Here's a shot from Atomic starting off where he picked up from last game and he gets the first goal for Ghost. He is unstoppable. Dapper, I like the idea to get that hit out, but it was just a little bit too plain and too centered. You want to hit it to the corner. Really has that spark. You can lead to, you know, maybe Dapper hitting up shock or setting up a play here. And we've just been kind of a little bit, I guess, bored. And now we see almost an own goal off Dapper. Off the, the defensive side, what was this? And unfortunate, Sathy was up for it, couldn't get the touch, and Miss drops it down. It lands on Dapper's head. It to say the least, still, it, we're looking for better plays. It's, it's just crazy to see how uncharacteristic a lot of these defensive mistakes have been. We've known, and here's another one from Illusion. We've known 
Sonics to be a team that can withstand so much pressure on the defensive side. They can take shot after shot all season long. They were, ha they were handling the pressures. Matthew almost able to get one back. And with 40 seconds left, it looks like the Sonics might not have much of a fight here in game one. Four goals now, two in favor of Atomic and Ghost running away with it. And this time, it's Ghost doing what uh, Sonics do so well, moving the ball down the pitch, that transition did, so that they can carry it out find a pass in the midfield, keep their possession going, and also find some solid passes across the pitch like that one to Atomic. Oh. This is the ghost gaming that we've been waiting to see all season long. Things are finally clicking for them. And it's the Atomic that you expect to see. Just a monster on the field and give credit Insane. to Miss on the pass. And I mean, if Ghost can win this series and make top four, that'll be the first time that we've seen Ghost make a step up like that since season four. But Shock is going to cut me off finally get the ball rolling and get Sonics on the board. And Safi was the one to pop this one up. Shocked to put it on target, but really it was just a backflip or side flip, excuse me, by Mist. You don't have to force things. They know that their chances are going to come and this could be it. Atomic to pop it up, looking for one more. Illusion's there to put it home and goes back in the lead. Ghost Gaming are completely infiltrating all of the defensive side of Sonics. They're taking the boost. They're getting these Great, fantastic play. Sonics looking for some form of offense here. Haven't seen must here, much. Here's Miss trying to get a second touch. He does on target it in, and the GOAT, Ghost Gaming, take the lead. All of this stemmed from Atomic's challenge there. He was aggressive. He got the demo. He might not have won the 50, but even that demo, the aggression, the slight panic that he had, and they, they, they're fine with just rotating back. They say, look, we'll keep the pressure up. We'll keep trying to make and force mistakes because eventually we're going to oh. find something. And there's a Lucian. He does find the back of the net after a mistake has been caused from Atomic. And I was scared. I thought he missed it. And Atomic forces the issue, diving through that ball. And it comes off the... It, here's an opportunity, but cut out by a Lucian. Miss oh gets a fake, goodness. has an open net, and it's a two-goal lead for Ghost. Ghost Gaming. I, it, to say in one word for what this, this this level of play is, it's just college. Every decision, every attempt at going for a 50. A lot of Sonics fans asking where the offense has gone for this team. They have looked good through the regular season. Here's one now, pass out to Saskia, and they finally get one on the board here. And with a minute and 57 seconds left, plenty of time to get back into it. It took a solid midfield pass. They recognized that Tomic and Mist both on the back end, and this time Sasu. Chicago looking for options in the midfield. It was Justin who turns it away. JNAPS dunked oh. away, and it comes down to Justin in an open net for him to put it home. Energy on the board first. You love to see the reaction from Justin with that pinch across. Gary G hits Justin right in the perfect spot. He's trying to force the issue, issue for NRG. Pass off the sidewall. Here's Justin. Didn't have much boost to work with, but does get to it. A follow up from Garrett. Puts it away. And NRG, a two goal lead. This time it's Garrett actually being the one with the better positioning instead of Justin. Look at the speed. Justin got up to that arrow. Chicago needed to get a touch there as well. He couldn't find it. A team that has looked good through the midfield. Right now, Energy doing a great job of disrupting that and just not letting G2 into their own game plan. And there's Justin once again to put it away. You just talked about it, Corelli. It's all about punishing these mistakes. Gary G, he's given so much space. And I'm looking at Rizzo, who had needed to make a decision. He only had about 28 boots. That's about the first one we've seen so far. Rizzo, while he can't position oh, no. himself forward, as they just run away with it now. Mistakes have been made on the side of G2. NRG are always there to punish. And that one hurts to watch because I, I'm pretty sure Jane Apps was just get back at that point. He didn't think that that... Chicago, he had one chance. He had a little bit of a light shot, but that has been the best look so far from G2. Rizzo gets beat just over his head and Justin to put it away for NRG. And he did it all himself. He started out in the corner, won the challenge, beat out the defender, carried it slowly and caught from NRG, but they do make the save. And NRG now pressing Justin, looking for oh, a double Justin. tap. He can do it off the crossbar and in. NRG a two goal lead. He is too clean with it right now. Justin, look at how fast he is into the air and then gets the double touch perfectly reaching off the backboard of shots that we just saw.
recently were just tossed to the NRG defensive side. They weren't intentional at all. No second touch as Gary G punishes another mistake on the defensive side of G2 where it feels at this point where it might just be a mechanical issue as Justin also gets the thing. Yeah, and it looks like the defense of G2, Demo JNAP's out of the way. This game getting quite bloody here as Demo's coming out. Now here's JNAP's just turbo pulse and a beat Ooh. over the back shoulder and G2 on the board. This is it, the classic G2. Look at that Rizzo, the side touch to Chicago. And then he clears it across for JNAP's where there's space. We saw earlier Rizzo was getting involved. He had a double. Once again, might just carry it himself. Almost a beautiful goal from Rizzo. Here's JNAP's and G2 pressing the issue. Chicago top corner and a two goal lead now for G2. The JNAP Chicago duo set up from Rizzo. You saw that beautiful backboard triple touch, clearing the ball all the way across the net. It set up his teammates starter to that play as Chicago and JNAP can finally start to get some passing going between them. Now G2 really stepping it up on the mechanic side, but Justin, he's gonna try and get one here. He does and finds the back of the net. What a shot from Justin. I was not expecting wow. this because you saw a player in net and he just yeah. slips up the wall like that. Doing a better job of holding on to this ball into the final third. Can they crack the cold? That is oh. the NRG defense, and they do again. It's Chicago on the weak shot, goes in right side. And you can tell now they're starting to get more involved. Rizzo, look at him, he's falling. As you can see there, he actually got a little piece of Turbo, who is rotating. The turbo was there, but picked out from J Naps. And NRG looking dire now in their own box. Shot off, the, or no, it doesn't come off the crossbar, just slips under it, and JNAP's a 4-1 lead now for G2. And at this point, you understand the aggression. You understand why everybody in that instance was pushed up so far for NRG. They're trying to get desperate. Team shots to NRG 6. This is the possession, the pressure, and the mechanics we've been waiting to see. They just needed the first two games to warm up, and Chicago finishes it off with the fifth goal. Yeah, great way to cap off this game three for G2. They get back into the series before they're put on match point. Jane Apps and G2 would love to see the first goal. Here is Dan something dangerous Double. as Justin's going to get a second Ooh. touch and down. He just does not miss those shots. He doesn't miss ever. It's off the backboard. And I, I want to say that it's routine for Justin, but I don't want to take away from how beautiful and how a player that has been scoring so many goals for this team throughout the season, even today. A great start for him, a demo oh. for Rizzo. Can he turn back around? He'll do it himself. He opens up the gates and then pushes through. Rizzo says, you know what, Justin, you got a mechanical goal. I'm just going to take out your defenders and completely destroy anybody in my path. He'll go for that aerial on the goalkeeper. And so far, it's been it's been more of a dirty, gruesome battle between oh. who can get physical, but Rizzo, he's not bumping anybody. This time, he's shooting. And I love seeing these types of plays because the pass off the wall comes off so quickly, and you know Rizzo knew it was coming, and midfield gets bumped away by Garrett. Rizzo looking for the back wall. Does get it, and everyone oh. went back to the net. Leaves space open for Justin, and you simply just cannot do that. And this is a fantastic touch from Garrett. Look at the side touch to Justin. Garrett G, I can't express it. And you can see the way that G2 were positioned. It was going to be tough for them. Here's Justin again, the follow up for Turbo Pulsa. Justin gets in the way, and Turbo Pulsa gets the credit. Turbo being the player to crash the net, that third man as Justin can force the defense, force the goalkeeper to jump, and then flip into j -Nabs to get a little. Running a ride here. G2 have got to slow him down, put energy on the back foot. And here's Chicago, maybe a chance off the post and in for Rizzo. And as soon as he say it, G2 takes care of business. Chicago, look at the placement. I thought this was actually might be a goal and so did Justin. You can see Justin assumed that it was gonna maybe bounce off the- Chicago gives way for Rizzo and G2 come marching down the field, maybe for another one as it comes out to J Naps off the oh. crossbar, looking for one more, Chicago back post, and it goes in past everyone from NRG, a tie game. The one instance where I'd say hitting a slower shot is actually the best oh. possible outcome because you can see crossbar, now Rizzo the finish, it's not there yet. Gary G, now they've got the counterattack. That's what NR energy need, because G2, they're pushing up too much, and then finally, they do get the finishing shot. It's Chicago to find the bottom right corner. And that's what it takes for G2. Oh, they finally 
find the gap they played across right now early on we'll find out if they can g2 might actually get it jnaps is going to put it off the crossbar just a delicate touch and it drops right in front of his face jnaps i don't even think he expected this to not go in it bounced out thankfully he landed there 30 seconds have come and gone here and then the shot comes out from Justin. The Turbo Pulse, the demo opens up the space and we got ourselves a tie game. I love that it was Rizzo that Turbo demoed to really take out that player because it's Turbo and Rizzo. They're fighting right now. Halftime here in game six. G2 have had plenty of chances to put this series away. Maybe Rizzo's now gonna get a second touch and he does off the miss clear from NRG. Rizzo, you can tell he positioned himself that Justin was gonna get this hit because he went above the ball, expecting to get a dunk here. Justin, way too slow. Here's Justin, a bit of space to work with, looking for help, down to Garrett, shots high, Turbo Pulsa, can he put it away? Down, up and over Chicago, it does go through, and NRG tie it up. And a safer hit from Turbo, you love to see Justin finding Garrett in the midfield, and this is almost a recap, a replay. Between these two teams, especially What's with on the line here? Garrett, second Justin. touch. It's bouncing on the goal line. Can he put oh. it away? And Justin comes through, finally for NRG, a 3-2 lead. Garrett G off the top. I thought it was Justin with the way I saw him moving his car, but it was Garrett G in fact. Justin almost getting one more. Chicago actually does pop it up. Still very delicate oh, no. situation and finally put away by Justin and NRG will confirm a game seven here and put G2 on the brink. And, and what, what a close a series. Yeah, that was, that was so. And sees, or, and looks to see what comes out of it. And this Dangerous is really passive. Ball. Rizzo, Ooh, shot it. on target. And this one floating across the net and NRG just couldn't stay with it. Rizzo saw it all the way. And Rizzo stuffed the moon pinch as that ball just went flying off the backboard. The frustration on the offensive side is really theirs. But then NRG, it's coming down to how they move the ball out, how they transition and get the oh. counterattack. But it's JNAPS here to get the second goal. We've got 50 seconds left. And he comes out with 40 boosts and the ball just pops out and Justin's stuck in no man's land. He knows he can't challenge it to get this block. Good fake by Rizzo to make him go two from NRG. And 10 seconds left, it's looking all oh, G2, that eight. might be it. Chicago puts it away, three goal lead with eight seconds left and G2 are gonna take them down in seven games. And their matchup in league play, NRG and G2, it was actually NRG. You, you get it, they're all three ridiculous. Arsenal, AXB, typical. We're underway here in game oh. one and Arushi <laughs> will kick it in. To start it off, 14 seconds in. Uh -oh. Arsenal trying to do the right thing, dish the ball back for AXB, but he kind of limps it back toward his own half. He doesn't really get the power on it. And their previous series, but missed. The reliable goalie in two of their last <laughs> games. Here's a nice flip from Arsenal. High powered indeed. Space Station tied up. Arsenal steals the boost and shows Atomic you're not the only one who can make people look silly on defense. A little fake to buy the extra real estate across the box and you know. And so far playing Boomer Ball. Ooh, good touch from Atomic. Back to the connection, and it's solid. That's a ghost lead. How about Illusion to just have faith in this ball getting there? I mean, he just kind of waits around at the top of the box, says, hey, maybe it gets through. Voila. And they had to leave, and actually they're very fortunate that the counterattack from Ghost didn't come through, but now maybe Space Station with a great push, ripped into the left side, ASB. How about that shot getting all the way around it? His first goal of the set, typical gets a great touch out to him. Somehow shovels the ball out and oh, back away. Up. That's yeah. We'll, we'll trade back and forth. Ghost. Back on defense. Uh oh, they got caught out. Oh, Atomic got what? caught, and AXB punishes. That's two for him and a game win for Space Station. Yeah, Atomic just rotates forward, and I think Illusion wasn't sure uh, if he was going to go for that. It's all on Atomic. Can he stop Arsenal out of those corners? I think is the difference maker. Ooh, Atomic. He ended up double jumping there, and Illusion dunks through to the corner. Goes first goal. 
Number 100 for Illusion. Arsenal with a weak clear, and Illusion <laughs> play a little pinball to knock that one through. Reset. He was looking for yeah. so he'll pick it up again. The interesting thing about that is I was wondering why he was twisting, but that doesn't matter. Sipical, real nice job. Just comes through. I think. Did they pinch this? Let's take a closer look. Definitely slow playing it to get under missed, and I no, did. they did not. Uh, it kind of looked like it. It's a lot of that boost. Running interference, forcing Ghost into some suboptimal spots where they don't have many options to trap it. But how about they find a seam? And how about this one? How about it? This is a great pass first to Mist. So Illusion sets up the whole play to begin with. And then Mist gives it right back to him against the back wall. Wants one more touch. Mist jumped early, so it will be a dead play it and is. an open net for Space Station. Rolling up the post and in, it's a tie game. Illusion definitely got caught a little close trying to pre-jump that pass from Atomic, but unfortunately, Atomic got a little too much of it well over Illusion's head. I thought maybe AXP, as you alluded to at the start of this game, they're not done yet. Arsenal trying to knock it down. Zipical somehow gets a touch there, and oh, Arsenal with the bump. How did Space Station turn this into a goal? Oh, Arsenal gets this touch, gets out of, gets out of the way, bumps the only player that possibly could have made a save on that. There's nobody from Ghost on the side wall. It will be a difficult touch for anyone to get back to. Definitely not the touch Atomic wanted, because here comes AXP, oh. and it's bounced off of a Ghost player. Forced own goal, AXP credited another goal. Yeah, and typical nice job getting in the corner and not trying to force anything. Just got around the outside of the ball, threw it into the middle. AXP, do your th Ghosts are forced into a perfect defensive rotation to keep the ball out of their net. They do so with Atomic. Atomic's actually got the net, oh, no, and he has a goal. Ghosts are in. And go sneak out. Typical. Clean loss. Atomic just dunked him. And AXP not respecting the speed of Atomic. He, he had two choices. Try and challenge. Up high. Ooh, Arsenal wanted that touch. But it's still Space Station ball. Next is Arsenal. Oh Who gets the goal? Oh my call? gosh. It was the change up shot achieves. It totally threw off Mist on the back wall. Or Illusion. Oh, and me. Illusion. Illusion's just waiting for it. And go, oh dear. He was expecting the top right shot. Drop ball in the box. Oh, and a clean win from Arsenal. Oh, Goes for the oh, bump. Beautiful. AXP's got net, and it's a goal for Space Station. Arsenal, you mastermind. This is such a great touch. And no, I'm not going to cut that ball in. I'm just going to force you to hit the brakes. AXP, shoot it left side. No problem. One nil Space Station. You awesome. gave them space. You gave uh. them space, and there they came and took it. Used it. It's brutal. Oh, but Mist will sneak this in off the pass from Atomic. So Ghost will quickly tie this up. Atomic definitely reading where that clear is headed. Arsenal, he did not know Atomic was there. He was just parked on that back. Two in overtime. There's a headlock in the Ghost corner. You are kidding. With everything on the line. And it's almost an old goal. Uh, it was <laughs> for Atomic. That Ghost stay alive off the 2v2. Space Station. You know, respect it. AXP makes the missed touch. Atomic, if anyone's going to beat anyone to the ball, it's going to be him. Over to missed. And, and it oh. affords Ghost more up. Oh. I miss. Well, well, it was going to afford them more opportunities. Atomic's <laughs> definitely in position. AXP's got him clean beat, though, and he knows it. And Atomic. Ooh. I mean, that's the right play. You got to follow that up the wall. And. It is handled by Miss, and Sipical and Arsenal. And just, they gave themselves a little bit of space on this with Ghost back, and Sipical yeah. will score off a self-pass. This is, this, is, this is Space Station. They went all the way back, space to work with in the midfield. There's the bumps in the goal line to try and open it. It's the risk you take, and Miss rotating into the goal line. Ash on Space Station and get in their face and oh. see if you can capitalize on something. Atomic had to wait, and he's going to oh. get burned! Arsenal, that's three! First Space Station with 44 seconds, they all but secure their spot in the finals. And uh, to be honest, Atomic, you're absolutely right. He was forced into waiting. If we do get further into the game, it becomes more and more important. Drop down. Arsenal off the backboard, can't get his second touch. Looks for the setup to AXP! And Space Station will open up the scoring. And a lovely play, typical, that little pass into the middle. AXB had to get the ball around. J-Napton, he... Chicago's not a great spot to play this. 
at the right thing. Takes his time rather than just lashing away at the ball. Here's Jane Abs to tie us up. Bounces out to Chicago. What each? Well done from Chicago to get that clean up. He gets the pass out to Jane Apps and it caused everyone to jump for that. Bouncing off the post. Chicago, even though he had quick enough to get to it. It means that transitions like this can now happen for G2. XB didn't pick up his own boost either. He's been eliminated. And Chicago will finish off game one. He's got himself a brace. And he got caught out. And then he decided to let that bounce off the corner. We see two demos come out. Zipical is racing back. But there was those teams trying to find the quick transitions. But sometimes they're hitting. Most of the times that they're not. Getting out with the flip reset. And it's going to be good enough. G2 have the lead. The knapsack is back. Chicago Rizzo hop in with plays like this. You can tell there's a lot of space. And make something of it. Here is game number three. Space Station Gaming. It's going to be looking to see a quicker start. And well, oh, no. they've certainly been held, had a helping hand on that one. Oh, no. That was disastrous. J Nav's. Oh. And it's gone now in game number three. In a game three, that Space Station more or less have to win. And that's another mistake. Space Station, we're going to get punished for this eventually. And guess what? They have been. And typical, he was up there on the backboard, didn't get the read, and just had to watch. Yeah, I, I don't know if uh, JNAPS, JNAPS was quite the nice gift. I feel like G2 had to work a little bit, and JNAPS doesn't stop working. Making amends for that own goal with this one. Great setup from him. AXP takes too long to get to the challenge. And Gems will turn that straight in for a G2 bounce right back after that calamitous start. Everybody currently back right now for Space Station, but none of them can do a thing. Rizzo's got his second. And Space Station Gaming look like they don't know how to deal with this. And a gorgeous play from Rizzo, if you watch from his perspective. Four games in a row needed for Ooh, Space got Station another Gaming. He's going to go straight on the other side of the field. Wow. Is that in? Wow. G2 are not going to score many easier than that. j popped that one off his own crossbar as well. He almost scored on them again. And then he scores on a... Rizzo did well to get by two players there. Timing his demo. Now the... Demo on the way back. JNAPS has to turn it. Rizzo's there. Puts it in. Rizzo is playing lights out Rocket League. Is that enough to secure the regional championships? Rizzo has been out. And you can tell that Rizzo was looking for that pass to JNAP. Chicago's going to put this one off the crossbar. Rebound chance. AXB gets oh. bumped by his own teammate. Arsenal hits him out of the way. And that has to be absolutely devastating.